Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for December 13th through the 19th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Libra, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements? Sun, um, I just said that, <laughs> male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. And well, I guess you get two there. You definitely can flip switch energies around anytime you feel the need to. So please do that if you need to. And cross watchers, you are welcome. Could be actually a reading or messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra, welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well staying safe and healthy at this time everything you need to know libra about me and the channel is down below so please feel free to check that out if you would like to and all your monthly readings are up your december and your mid-month and your end of month are all up you can check those out your playlists are down below those go out on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do a weekly reading every week for the week ahead. A little, little sneak peek what you need to know. And uh, that usually goes out on a Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And those readings are a little bit shorter. Your monthlies are longer. So you can check all that out if you would like to. All right. Libra, let's see what we have. So we have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action and creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. I think you're creating new energy in your life. It could be relationships or something else here that have um, more integrity to them, more value, more standards, more uh, worth in some kind of way so you're definitely creating and attracting and maybe even manifesting uh newer better energy i think into your life we do have here all that glitters we have 16 which is seven you know seven is a spiritually divinely guided energy but it can also be about um assessing so i think there's something here you need to ass assess even though you're manifesting new things into your life make sure that if something looks good on the outside is it it is as good as it is on the inside so something may look really shiny and you know attractive on the outside but on the inside not so good so be careful when you're in this energy of being creative and manifesting and being in a high vibration you still may have something come along your path maybe a little test from the universe I, I don't know but just be careful and we have yeah owl deception we have four Four is a very stable, grounded energy. So with all that glitters and deception here, I feel like also, and you know, the owl, you know, rises above and sees things from a higher perspective, has very good eyesight, very wise energy. So what I think now, you see this owl looking down on the mask in, the, in this energy, like, yeah, I see you. I see what you look like on the outside but i know i trust my intuition i know what you are on the inside i can feel it i can sense it i know it i've i've you know i'm wiser to the energies now so i think you're creating and manifesting on a much higher vibration now and things coming in here um only accepting things in your life that are of your morals your values your standards and you catch on here you can catch on so you may have something coming into you this week that you may be like yeah i see you i know what you are yep you can just keep on moving keep on going all right all right libra let's see what we have for libra my candle went out so you may actually <clears throat> See something that looks bright and shiny and actually just douse it before it even has a chance to enter your energy that's <laughs> kind of what i feel the fool yeah you kind of see something for what it is it's a foolish kind of energy of what i'm getting here aquarius it's like you see someone acting stupid or beneath the surface they're just kind of like a fool all right usually that is um i got flyers here about a leap of faith a new start yeah, it could be about a soulmate partnership or um, it could be like a new friend. Maybe they do something 
to deceive you, you know, or um, a soulmate energy can be anybody. It can be a friend, a, work, a co-worker, a lover, a family member. Something, you know, that maybe stresses you out a little bit. So I feel like somebody here may do something to test you. Or um, I think you're just going to see something for what it is. So this may be like a new connection. And right away you, it's like you kind of sense something is off. Or you see something for what it is. Or something feels stressful. <laughs> about it or you have a dream or you wake up in the middle of the night going like oh my god you know i see this person for what they are they told this little white lie or they did this they do that they did that behind my back or said this or did that and it's like you wake up in the middle of the night to the fact that um yeah this person is not what they seem king of wands leo energy could be a fire sign could be a boss or a co-worker sometimes the king of wands can be an entrepreneur a boss or something like that could actually be a fake boss where you're like oh my god i see this person you know they act all light aloof you know but deep down they're like very deceptive um kind of energy and they may be a narcissist they may be uh, all right let's see it could be for some it's a boss for some it could be a new job the fool it could be a new job and you're like oh my god my boss is like so fake and then you know they pretend to be all this and that and underneath they're like this awful person it could be a co or new co-worker it, again it could be anybody it could be someone new you're dating you went on a date with them and you go home and you're like oh my god it's like nope i can't do it yeah nine of pentacles you may actually stay single five of wands yeah you're gonna see it's either something like they, maybe, you know, you went on a first date with somebody. It could be maybe you just went on a date with them or maybe you have a date this week, this weekend. Or maybe you just went on a date with them this past weekend. And it's like every little thing, they had to contradict you or they had to correct you or something like that. And you're like, yeah, no, that's not for me. That's not for me. They may be handsome. They may be sexy, you know, have a good sense of humor. But other than that, they're kind of like a piece of crap. It's kind of what I feel here. All right, so some of you may remain single here. And this is a work situation where it's a new boss or a new job, and it's like your boss is, like, terrible. Um, they may cause, actually, a lot of conflict within the employees. I, I'm just like, you know, keep to yourself this Nine of Pentacles. Try to stay out of anything. Do your job. Stay, to, you know, to yourself. Don't make a lot of friends. Don't associate with a lot of people. Just kind of do your work and go home is kind of what I feel. You may be making good money. You don't want to risk losing that. But there could be just a lot of drama. A lot of drama. And maybe you want to create something new for yourself. You know, be independent. Work independently. The sun. So for some of you, Leo energy, that could be, you know, going after your happiness, your joy, fulfillment. For, if I could speak. Fulfillment. This is the happy outcome. So I think... If you're conflicted whether or not to like go on a second date with this person, but you're not really feeling the connection, or you just didn't like their ways, their manners, or if they're very, like I said, contradictory, or they, you know, had to correct you, and it was like little tiffs over stupid things, but it's like, ha, you know, no, I don't think this person, this person is not for you, I don't think, um, again, you may be better off single here, but with Sun here, is like, you'll be happy anyway, um, so whether you decide to let's see what's on the bottom of the deck yeah so i was feeling that energy temperance here page of cups some of you may actually accept a new job opportunity i mean this person may come in and apologize um oh i'm sorry or you know i for the way i acted blah 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 but there's still kind of something childish about them and you're like no i thought maybe you know we kind of hit it off with temper temperance here maybe there was a chance but no i i still think that there's something not right here or whatever and the ten of swords is like no done yeah i don't think so but i feel like here you know by you being smarter now and realizing you know i'm not going to play victim or fall victim to something because it looks good it seems good and just giving keep giving it a second chance um and I'm wiser now, 
and I can sense and I know things, um, you have that integrity about you now. So you have the ability to keep creating better things in your life. So I do think temperance here, you know, there's something better coming. Um, you may be getting like, if this is a little test, I mean, you may have like a true soulmate coming in. Here with temperance angel could be a Sagittarius. We have Pisces, we have Leo. Leo twice or Leo Sag Aries, Aquarius. But I think you know, there's patience, healing, balance, peace, harmony, joy, divine alchemy. So I think by you realizing um, something looks shiny but it's not so good on the inside because you know better now, whether that was through past experiences or just lessons you've learned in life along the way, it's like, nope. And I think the universe is going to send you something better here. Hermit, yeah. Going within, you know, staying solo, you know, retreating your energy, thinking, healing, contemplating, soul searching, something better is coming, Virgo energy. Yeah, new beginning in love here. It could be something very stable here with the four of ones. Very, very stable. Dating, getting to know, ceremony, celebrations could lead to marriage or commitment. Look at that. We have a match. The king, queen of wands. <laughs> we have a match. Aries here now. Someone where you both will feel excited about each other, light each other's fire, feeling passionate, creative, spiritual. It could be a spiritual connection. Um, that spark of fun, enjoyment, laughter, creativity right there. Creat creativity right there. It could be somebody else that you work with, three of pentacles, but that could be just building a life together to a total peace, harmony, joy, fulfillment in every single way. But yeah, you know what to block now in your life that causes you struggle and pain. You know now, and you're waiting for something better. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, you have something better coming that's more stable, more exciting, more uplifting. And I don't think it's this person. I feel like this is like someone you just went on a date with or a couple dates with and you get that eerie feeling. Yeah, I would say they're not what they seem. It's a pile of gold, but underneath it is a big pile of poop. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Golden poop. That's what it is, Libra. Hey, Libra, but you will be happy in the end here. Good for you because you know, you, you can see and you know. All right. So, I mean, regarding work, I mean, you may uh, go within here and get an offer, you know, that you will actually love that will bring you more stability and more creativity. I mean, some of you could, you know, get an offer for somebody who is an entrepreneur, owns their own business, uh, maybe even somebody who wants a business business partner. Maybe you have some sort of talents or gifts that you do for a hobby or a little side job. And someone's like, hey, I'm doing this, I'm starting a new business. You want to come be my partner? Or why don't we start this together? So that could be an option here too, which could lead to a lot of uh, success, happiness, and joy here. That could actually be the person you're meant to be with if it's someone um, you're interested in. Same sex or not, you know, doesn't matter. Could actually be um, your person. All right. Well, let's see here for Libra. Either way, you will be making your money, feeling good, being independent, taking care of yourself, and not really having to worry. So you're either making good money now, but it's just a very bad situation. You know, your boss is bad, the co-workers are bad, but you could have something better coming on the horizon. Again, keep to yourself and you know better with this new person either you're dating. For some of you, maybe you've been dating a couple months, maybe you've gone on a couple dates, you took that chance, but you're like, oh my gosh, no, this person, don't keep give, giving this person another chance because there's nothing good under that pile of glitter, I feel. Surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So, you know, you could have had a fear of being alone in the past, a fear of um, maybe even ending relationships, no matter how bad it was. But I feel like, you know, you overcame that fear and now you know better. Because look at, we got the nine and the ten of swords. So, you know, like, if something's keeping you up at night, stresses you out, it's not for your highest good. 
So you're ending it, you know, it could be, hey, I'm sorry, but nope, this just isn't working for me. And Temperance is like, good job, Libra, good job, because now we're bringing you in a true soulmate. Oh my gosh, oh, that's way too many, okay. So we have here, surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. It could be that this person, like they always think they're right. Maybe you, even though you were not a couple dates, you know, if they're very contradictory or they're a little bit of conflict or they had to correct you or, oh, no, 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 you know, this person may have, may have a hard time saying when they are wrong because you have a miracle coming in. And I don't think um, it, it's this person. And I do think if you are fed up with your job because of a nasty boss, you know, coworkers, there's something better coming. Because you may have t taken this job saying, oh my gosh, you know, this looks really good. It looks promising. Maybe it's a new job you've been on for a couple of months. My boss seems really nice. The coworkers seem really nice. Then you start working there and go, oh my God, the boss is a piece of crap. These coworkers are nasty. They don't work well together. All they do is fight and argue. They cause drama. They throw each other under the bus. It could be both or either or. So uh, this is a big lesson for you. You know, this is something new that uh, do your research first. Also, before jumping into uh, situations like this, but I think you're starting to realize here um, what is truly, truly something that is worth its weight in gold and what is not, Libra. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. So that's what I have. So I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated. And I shall see you next time.